Hey everyone, welcome back to the B-Movie Bunker. Today we're looking at 2014's It Follows, brought to us by David Robert Mitchell. What we have is the story of a young girl who is uh, kind of followed and terrorized by this uh, unknown presence that can appear as pretty much anyone. Um, I really, really like this movie. Um, it uh, The first act ends in just, in the, I mean, it is just brutal and perfect uh, how the first act ends. Uh, just crush that, that first act. And then we get this slow burn building up through the rest of the movie. Now, that said, I think the movie builds a bit too much um, and then falls just a little bit short uh, when, we, when, we, when we get t uh, towards the climax. Not entirely. I, I still think the movie was phenomenal. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and I like the fact that this unknown force is this constant thing that's always following her. That, you know, it follows. It's always there. It is. It's like the 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 constant and creeping presence of death. Death is always present. It is always there. It is always somewhere behind you um, until it eventually catches you. And that's what I like about this. Now I've heard other people say how this is about STDs because of the way the thing is passed. No, where are you? You're 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 looking too simply. Um, and it's just got this great feeling of, you know, like this, this constant thing coming after you. I mean, it's it's like how... You, there's so many things you can parallel it to. I mean, I like, you know, the death, but I mean, even in... If you go with horror themes, you know, the, the constant march of zombies who just... They're relentless. They do not stop. They just keep coming and coming and coming and coming. They don't sleep. They don't rest. And you have to. Um, I think we had some really good performances in this. Uh, I mean, the, the cast is supposed to all be, you know, basically teenagers, late-age teenagers... But uh, they're believable. Too often we get these uh, overdone caricatures of what a teenager is. You know, you get the the big dumb jock. You get the shy, quiet girl. You know that it's 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 too like like they they made characters out of out of the people that they you know the handful of people they knew in high school, and that's always what we get. And these seem like actual real people. Um, I mean, they do a few things where it's like, well, why would you do that? But if everyone was super smart all the time, we wouldn't have horror movies because nobody would ever get in a situation where something bad could happen. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is, it's kind of like The Ring meets like an 80s slasher film. Uh, that's kind of how I feel about it. I mean, you've got so, some of that, you know, the following, you know, terror of, of The Ring, you know, where it's that seven days, and, you know, except in this one, it's the, it's forever, and it's just going to keep coming and coming and coming until it gets you. Uh, but it's got that get good, you know, uh, 80s slasher feel to it, where, you know, it's, it's you've got these teenagers, and you know some of them are going to get killed. That's just how it is. It's just waiting to see how they're going to die and when they're going to die. Um, but I really like this one. It, it, it sets up a great, uh, creepy feeling throughout the film, where uh, it is just buoyed by, by some really good performances, and, and just by some good camera work, and just a, a good good story idea in general so that's all i've got for this one till next time stay safe out there in the wasteland folks